today we will discuss about the global controls of the ansys machine previously we were discussing about the methods of ansys machine and now we will discuss about global controls generally machine process follow this procedure this here machine process is ansys machine first we have to specify global mesh controls which we will discuss today and then insert local mesh control local mesh control are for the method which we apply on the geometry and global mesh control is for all and then preview we can see our mesh or generate and after that we will check the quality of the mesh and if the quality satisfied then it is okay if it is not then again we will go to the global mesh controls okay so let's start go to click here mesh and drag and drop this mesh and after that you have to select one geometry i already created one so i just browse and double click on the mesh so friend this is our geometry let me make it normal okay so just click on this mesh so these are the details these are also known as global global controls of the ansys machine okay so here four type of physics available mechanical electromagnetic cfd and explicit so that if we just generate this mesh then it will create a mesh of some qual quality and uh, these are known as the default setting and uh, if you change the magic preference from mechanical to electromagnetic or cfd or explicit then this default setting for all the others is different now this relevance also for the sizing so we put it at 100 okay now here sizing the first option in the sizing is advanced size function this uh, the work of this advanced size function is that we will see here here this advanced size function control the growth and distribution of mass in important regions of high curvature or closed proximity of surfaces look at here here this region is of high curvature okay and this is the proximity region so here this advice size function controls uh, the size or quality of massing generally it is kept off and here five options are available of this is unavailable for assembly proximity and curvature curvature proximity and fix okay. so this curvature denotes that the quality of mass will be improved at high curvatures proximity means at proximity it will improve the quality and for both proximity and curvature it will generate a good mass at both okay so this is the example and advanced size functioning is off there is nothing special at here here and at the high curvature also but when this is this option is kept at curvature then it focus on the curvature massing and then when it is kept at the proximity then it focus on here on this region and when it will kept at both then it include both proximity and curvature okay so let's try this just here the option is off now we will generate our mass here we will do this as fine okay now generate mass take some time okay look at here friends nothing happens generally simple mass all over the area and now we will do this on curvature to so see you will see the change will appear here only not here okay. then we can click generate mass look at this this is the messing here after 
we select advanced size function on curvature and now we will select it on proximity and then generate mass okay. look at here here nothing happens but here it, the quality of mass is improved and after that we put on both proximity and curvature and the quality of both region will be increased for the massing of both regions is good okay. now we will turn it off and then we will generate our mass okay and now the second is relevant center this is also define the element size if it is fine then the size of the element is comparatively smaller than medium and in course okay yeah minimum size decide the uh, minimum size of the element which will be formed in the machine one exception is there that uh, element lower than the minimal si minimum size may be formed depending on the width or height or dimension of any edge okay and maximum face size it, de it de decide the maximum size of the element which will form on the face and growth rate this growth rate we will discuss by an example this growth rate here okay now after that span angle and curvature normal angle this span angle we need another geometry for this span angle look at here look at here this span angle means control the curvature based refinement for edges for edges it decide the refinement okay so if we put course then it will give angle 91 to 60 or 60 to 91 and and medium 75 to 24 and fine 36 to 12 and uh, this growth rate this is the important one here growth rate this is the growth rate this growth rate means it defines the ratio between the size of adjacent cell now when the growth rate is 1.1 then increase or the number of cells is more means size ratio from one cell to next cell it defines generally the default growth rate is 1.20 this we will practice on another geometry and one of this advanced size functioning we here get the element size which is available when the advanced size function is off okay. then element size means which type of element we want means maximum size of the element how much will be the maximum size and here is smooth transition transition denotes the speed or decide means it may decide the speed because if the transition is fast then the number of cell form will be less so look at here fast transition nodes 17,000 and here in the silo the nodes are 36,485 so it directly indicates that the quality of this mess is good as compared to the fast transition okay and now we will discuss about what we say growth rate click on this mass and uh, here we will put this as 100 so now in the size in here when we on this advanced size function then there is option which is called growth rate here the default growth rate is 1.5 is given and we will generate the mass for this growth rate generally the growth rate defines the ratio of adjacent element to the previous so 
here the growth rate is 150 and we will see the element of the inside this mass so we will take one section plane just drag and drop and you just see when we on the element then you just see these elements for growth rate 1.5 means ratio of the size of this element to this is 1.5 okay? and gradually this increase to the center now when we decrease the growth rate then the sizing will decrease but the solver time will increase so let's kept it 1.05 okay then we will click on generate mass and look at here the size of the central elements is nearly equal to the side element and when we put it as 1 then there will be no size difference between the side element and central element okay look at this this is our mass at growth rate 1.0 but the number of elements your nodes increases and uh, let me put it 2 then we will see what we will see what happens look at here for the 2 the central element are very well ok now just put it off the central plate now for a span angle look at here these are the good span angle and when we come to a span angle if we take it as fine then we will see what happens generally this has become more fine compared to other ones look at here this has become fine as compared to the other so the coarse span angle or span angle decide the mass of the edges just as thank you friends for watching this tutorial